Prime Minister of Ukraine. Dear Dennis, you have the floor. Thank you so much, Your Excellencies, partners, friends, colleagues. Ladies and gentlemen, over the years, the Council of Europe has played a crucial role in promoting democracy, upholding human rights, and ensuring the rule of law in Europe. Today, Europe faces extraordinary challenges in the face of the Russian Federation full-scale protracted and brutal aggression against Ukraine. This aggression is an affront to all the principles for which the Council of Europe stands and to be foundation of the European multilateral security architecture. Our common response must be resolute. The aggressor must not be allowed to prevail. Ukraine must restore its sovereignty over its entire territory. The Council of Europe has taken a number of decisive measures to counter Russian aggressor aggression against Ukraine. The Council was the first international organization to advocate for the establishment of a comprehensive international compensation mechanism. The Council of Europe advocates the need for the establishment of a special international tribunal. The Council's Parliamentary Assembly was the first body of an international organization to call on Council of Europe member states to recognize the Russian regime as terrorist. All these decisions demonstrate leadership and Ukraine is very grateful for this. The Council of Europe should maintain and strengthen its strengthen uh, its leadership role in future, setting a good example for other international organizations. The fourth summit should have the ambition to set a forward-looking agenda for the Council of Europe. We expect the Council of Europe to continue to take a strong position on the issue of Russian aggression against Ukraine. The first step towards accountability is the creation of an international register uh, of the damage caused to Ukraine by Russian aggression. Today's decision to establish the, this register is without doubt historic. After that, we should prepare the necessary legal framework for the confiscation of Russian assets and establish a compensation fund. So comprehensive approach includes uh, creation of international tribunal and this should include all the rest needed issue which we discussed during our round tables, during our debates. Thank you so much, uh, dear Katrin, thank you so much for this organization, invitation, all of the leaders uh, here to Reykjavik for personal organization. So let us work together to build peace and justice in Europe. Let us work together to build a better future for all Europeans. This is not only our responsibility, but also our shared opportunity to shape a more resilient, inclusive and prosperous continent. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for your attention.